uh, am I supposed to feel ready? Yeah, but I guess um, when you prepare for such a major event, you always feel like you could could do more. But I guess uh, we are doing some insane amount of work. So um, I hope we we got to be you know ready enough. That's it. That's really. Uh, I, I, I can't say I have like some some habit or something. So sometimes I sometimes I feel like yeah, I'm like in a sleepy mood or something, and then I'm listening to some you know some hard rock music or something. Yeah, so to uh, to feel the energy, I feel the power. But I mean in general, it's I mean it, it really depends on the mood, and the mood can be different. Yeah, from from one day to another. So it's. It's not uh, some kind of a ritual I'm trying to stick to. Being lazy, probably. That's that's my superpower. I think uh, it plays its own role, but <laughs> uh, it's you know it's. Uh, I mean, if uh, if trying to be serious, it's hard to evaluate because um, I think in modern chess you got to be a very universal player if you want to be successful, and uh, you can't rely on the intuition alone. So it's. They would like to, you know, to say that, for example, uh, a player, a world champion with the best intuition ever is Mikhail Tal, but I guess he also had, to, uh, you know, he he had to calculate a lot. Yeah, and for example, today, if you if you try to to stick to his playing style, it would be uh, sometimes it would be very costly to to your performance. So I think, yeah, the intuition is is always good, but. I mean, sometimes you basically can't choose the move uh, because of your calculation or evaluation, and you need to, for example, sometimes you are given like two similar opportunities, and you 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 you, you got to pick one, and okay, probably here the intuition comes. I guess it's uh, lies in the future, somewhere in the future. I. Probably stick to the same uh, answer because uh, when they, I mean, I mean, okay, that's not, you know, that's not anything special about the match, but in general, when they say what's your biggest tournament success or something, yeah, I always try to say that, okay, I still hope that it's still, you know, it's still ahead. I guess it's an improvement uh, for sure because uh, it gives you more chances to play some good chess, and uh, but I don't think I, I don't feel it's some complete different story. Like it's not like. Uh, as they used to play, like Karpov against Kasparov, until uh, someone uh, hits six victories, or it wasn't like it's not like, for example, in 1972, Spassky against Fischer, 24 games. So in general, uh, it's it's of course more interesting, and uh, I think uh, this came as a price. Uh, okay, the price was probably not too high, removing some extra residue. Uh, I guess uh, yeah, it probably would change uh, something, uh, perhaps closer to the. Um, Final part of the match, yeah, because once people get tired, they they normally you 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 know they they normally play worse, but you know you never know until it uh, until it will happen. But in general, I don't feel some major difference. Uh, well, uh, I didn't use my chance to try this bot, but yeah, I played against uh, some other bots, uh, so <laughs> well. Hopefully, I won't lose too uh, too badly uh, to this, uh, you know, artificial intelligence. Uh, you know, as they say. Uh, but in general, yeah, chess.com is probably the um, the best uh, chess uh, portal right now at, at the moment, and it's very friendly to all all sort of chess players. You know, to the, to, especially to casual chess players. Also, you know, there are a lot of nice events for professionals and for those who only try to make their, their you know make their own way to the top uh, and I guess especially in the in it wasn't uh, in 2020 then it was almost no online events uh, I mean so sorry you know almost no events uh, you know over the board uh, you know have an opportunity to play title Tuesday uh, every Tuesday <laughs> yeah uh, is I mean okay uh, of course uh, there was the, you know there was obvious controversy because it was held online but in general I think it was very supportive towards players 
so you can, you know, even in these dire times, you could uh, earn with your chess and you could uh, play some competitive chess. And you know, of course, uh, you know, some other projects uh, which are, you know, uh, which probably invites more and more people to, to join the chess families. It's also like, it's, a, it's very nice, yeah? So basically we are all doing the, you know, the same thing and we have the same goal. I really, I honestly don't know what to answer. So normally we all, we all want to remember only good things, yeah? So I think it would be enough, enough good stuff to remember. Over 9,000s. <laughs> well, I'm preparing for the chess boxing a lot, so I think I'd, uh, you know, I'd, I'd have a good chance. Well, I can't really remember all uh, all the finesses of this question. So first of all, what music? Any music? Mm -hmm. Literally any music. So I'm like, it depends on my mood. Uh, then movie. I guess the best one uh, of which I which I have seen recently was uh, another round with Mads Mikkelsen. And uh, among all times, uh, my favorite movie I guess is The Reader. Uh, then uh, what? Some food. Uh, well. Any food, <laughs> probably uh, mostly um, some meat or some Italian cuisine. And what else? A uh, book. Oh, drinks. Oh, of course, tea. Yeah, come on, I, I come from Russia. Yes. We all drink tea here, yeah. Okay, some some also drink vodka, yeah. But uh, this is uh, you know these times are probably not for vodka. Yeah, okay, not yet. Uh, for now, it's tea time. And uh, book, uh, probably I can't pick one, but uh, from uh, Russian uh, writers, I think I prefer Anton Chekhov. And from, let's see, all over the world, uh, I think it would be Borges. Uh, how do you enjoy your free time, if there is any free time? Which free time? Free time. What, what's free time? Do you have any free time? What, what, what is free time, sorry? I have no time. Yes. It, it was supposed to be a joke until you uh, yes. asked, asked <laughs> an extra question. Yeah. I think I, I, I used to be like this, yeah, and I was uh, one of my first uh, coaches told me, okay, it's very normal that you get to play in the same, or let's say, same short, yeah, if you, the tournament is going all right, okay, you don't change anything in your daily routine. Uh, in your daily routine, but uh, in general I have found a lot of um, arguments for the both uh, uh, for the both takes on this uh, on this you know superstition yeah so for example yeah sometimes you really follow okay, okay if a tournament is okay if it's going uh, great uh, probably I would say you can do whatever you want yeah just don't don't try to harm you know the way you you work you you know the way the, the way you play the way the, the way you prepare. Uh, but uh, if the tournament is bad, it's very likely um, nothing will help you. <laughs> so you can choose like 10 different... Uh, you, you, you can change uh, your clothes for 10 times and change your pen or something, but it would hardly ever take any serious effect. So it's... Um, in general, you got to be more realistic, but uh, yeah, when, you know, it's good to... Uh, you know, discuss like this, then you're not in, involved in any tournament. But during the tournament, uh, okay, it's it can be very different, I believe. So, and but well, let's see what happens. <laughs>